Welcome to Creative Bat Lab. Today I'm showing you over 25 ways that you can package a bath bomb. There are many packaging options and each one can be secured in two different ways. Either by gathering material up at the top or by cutting the material off and securing it with a sticker. The most common packaging is a shrink wrap bag. It's also the easiest and quickest and probably the cheapest, but it's also the most boring. I only included this one because I couldn't do a bomb packaging tutorial without it. This is standard tissue paper. The more sheets that you use, the bigger the poof on top will be. Place the bomb directly in the center, then gather material around it and push it to the top. Make the paper around the bomb as smooth and as tight as possible. Pinch the base and then secure it with a rubber band or ribbon. This is a paper bag. This print is very cute and would be perfect to give to a friend. I glued the two flaps on the sides down, but this is totally optional. This time, cut off the extra material and then put a sticker on top of it. Crepe paper is very stretchy. I actually tried different types and they pretty much all worked, but the fine crepe paper works the best. The crepe paper has such an elegant and soft look. It'd be perfect for Mother's Day. I keep picturing a floral scented bath bomb in here like rose or magnolia. Gift wrapping paper can be unique and specific. I love this print, especially for a floral scented bath bomb. So right here you have a choice. Wrap a ribbon around the material or cut it off and put a sticker on top. This is optional, but you can also glue some of the flaps down just to secure the wrapping a bit more. I'm not sure what this is actually called. I couldn't find it online. But anyways, twist the middle once, then set the bomb in the center, bring the two sides up and twist them together. Repeat steps for the other side. This packaging screams formal celebration to me, like an engagement party or a graduation. This is another crinkled paper that I could not find online, but this one is rolled tightly in a cord. Unroll the cord, then slide your thumb in the middle to loosen. This one is wrapped just like the previous bath bomb. The tan one has the twist at the bottom and the pink one does not. Other examples of paper packaging include thin sheets of scrapbook paper, magazine or book paper, newspaper, and even mixed media paper if you wanted to create your own print. These are foil paper sheets. They're very thin pieces of paper that have a metallic coating on the front. Just like the other times, pull the material to the top, make the paper around the bomb as tight and as flat as possible, this packaging would be great for multiple bombs in a container to indicate which scent the bath bombs were. These 
are foil tissue sheets. I thought it'd be fun to try alternating colors. This reminds me of party decorations on the table, like those weight things that holds the balloons down. These are really thin sheets of foil and they're actually perfect for wrapping bath bombs. This packaging was super easy and quick. There's no need for a sticker or anything. This is a two inch ribbon. Always twist the middle once, then place the bomb in the center. Lift the two sides up to meet at the top and twist them together. Then repeat for the other side. I think this one is very unique and pretty. It's definitely more fancy. This is burlap material. Simply cut a square about eight inches in diameter, depending on how big you want the poof on top to be. This was one of my favorites. I think it'd be great with a woodsy or a masculine scented bath bomb. This is burlap ribbon. I kept picturing a coconut or beach scented bath bomb in here. You can also use any fabric that you may have or even cotton material like a recycled pillowcase or silk material. This is net material. And you'd have to use a lot of it, but you can even use tool. This is a sachet bag. This would definitely make for very easy and quick packaging. And this is a cardboard box. You can stuff it with crinkle paper or tissue paper, and then after you can wrap it or tie a bow. You can also use cellophane in any color for a quick and festive look. I feel like this would be great for a birthday. Thanks for joining me today. Subscribe now for more creative bath inspiration. Connect with me anytime. My accounts are linked in the description.